Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at Fallout the TV show. Yeah, you heard that right. They're going to be making a TV show. Now, this has been out for quite some time. Apparently, the project had been announced since last summer of 2020. I didn't get to see this back then. It was, you know, uh, around when the pandemic had barely hit. So I was just kind of busy with a few things. So I didn't really find this out. Um, and the only reason why I found this out now is because they recently put out an update and there's been a bunch of articles and videos about this. But back then, there was also a video that Amazon tweeted uh, after they acquired the licensing to develop the adaptation. Now, obviously, meaning that Amazon's going to be working on this production it will be only streamed on Prime Video and is going to be an Amazon original so if you have Amazon Prime you're going to be only able to see it on Amazon but recently there was an update to the adaptation it is said that production is set to begin in 2022 which is the year we're currently in but seeing who was behind the making of the show I was a bit skeptical as to how the quality of the show will be Though looking at a bit more info at the writers and directors, I found that Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy, who created and produced the show Westworld, are going to be on the writers team who are also going to be spearheading the pilot episode. Now, this gives me a bit more hope seeing that Westworld already touches on this dystopian world setting. I gain a bit more confidence as to the quality of the story writing and storytelling in general. Now, if you watch the show, you know that it is a high quality show with great special effects. This gives me a reason to believe that they're going to bring the same level of quality to the Fallout series, as well as a bunch of other elements that are going to make the show really, really enjoyable visually. Now, Todd Howard is going to be involved as a director. He has been behind many of the Fallout games, so you know, take that as you will, <laughs> considering the last couple of games. There are other great staff on board with great backgrounds in TV writing, including a writer from the movie Captain Marvel and The Office, so it will be interesting to see what the outcome is, for the story writing at least. Now, the setting. The show is supposed to be based around what the game has been about, that being a post-apocalyptic world. Now, from the articles and information that has been released so far, there is no indication where it will be based on. Though, looking at some of the current games we've had in the past, there are possibilities that we can see Boston, Washington, D.C., Virginia, somewhere in Colorado, Shane Mountains, and while Fallout New Vegas is under the Fallout name, it was worked on by Obsidian, but we can still consider the Mojave Desert area to be a setting. There are many possible settings, so that will be interesting to see. Though, if we disregard the current settings we've had we can consider other areas. Some that I've seen mentioned or at least speculated upon are San Francisco, New York City, Alaska, and Hawaii. Though, to be honest, I personally would like to see something happen in New Orleans or maybe Florida, you know, something a little different with some some class like New Orleans and some soul um, and something a little different like Florida. But as of now, it is all up in the air and we'll just have to wait for some info to come out. Looking into the characters, we do know of two actors that have been casted. These are Walter Goggins and Ella Purnell, who both have a long experience with acting. Now, Walton's character is said to be based on one of the game's ghouls, or just ghouls in, in the game. Ella's character has not been officially confirmed, though Variety Magazine or the Variety article has mentioned that, according to sources, however, her character is described as upbeat, uncannily direct with an all-american can-do spirit but an intensity in her eyes says she might be just a tiny bit dangerous so that's the only indication of what kind of character she might be playing we can also assume that she's just going to be a regular human so that's something to look forward to both these characters have been in many shows and movies so it's nice to see to have a list actors on production but if you do have an amazon prime account do let me know what you're excited about within this adaptation or what you're not if you want to see more fallout content check out this video but you know what that's where i'm gonna leave it at that's all the information that i could find that's all i have for you guys today so i'll catch you guys in the next one bye